So basically, I got the feeling from them that I was selected and that this was something very important and they wanted me to understand that that's why they were saying, you know, you don't want to just turn this off. And I was flattered. I was made to feel very special and I had never felt special about anything. I, I wasn't even uh, m known as a musician yet. I was just barely learning how to play guitar and sing. And, and I used to do that in my room alone when nobody else was home. I'd put the stereo on and I'd I'd sing along. I had a microphone and the amplifier, and and uh, I, I would practice just singing and playing my guitar to records. And I got I got better, you know, and eventually started playing with other musicians and stuff. Well, as I asked them why me, they told me that they had been watching me and that they were aware of these times when I was playing music in my room, and that they thought I was good and that they were offering me my dream, that they wanted me to be a musician for them, just like Black Sabbath or, or all, any rock band. And, I mean, it was flattering as it could be. They were just saying how they thought I was good and that I was special and that, that other people like me had been approached by them and that they could make you into a star. And I'm listening to all this going, oh, wow, you mean all those stories you hear about you know, somebody selling their soul, you mean it's, that, that's what this is? and that this is real and stuff like that. So I'm listening to this and something I didn't mention yet, but while they were talking, somewhere between the very first introduction and as we progressed, uh, we seemed to leave the room, which is really weird because I was still standing where I was standing. I never, I never, I was like transfixed. I was frozen, staring at the ground, standing in front of the stereo while this music was playing very loud. But, in my mind, I was seeing all kinds of things. I saw myself with them, and I saw what they looked like, and I saw us walking outside, right in the very surroundings where I physically was. I was walking with them outside. And one of them, I should mention that while there were four guys, only one of them seemed to do most of the talking. The others just sort of agreed with whatever the main leader guy was saying. And it was all by thought. But I could distinctly distinguish individual thoughts from them. Now, I could tell when one was talking, and mostly the one guy did the talking, and the others just agreed with whatever he said. And so, as they were telling me these, this part, we were walking outside the building I was in, and I was seeing it, I guess, the same way you see when you daydream, or, or really dream. You never leave your physical bed, but you could see yourself anywhere. That's how I was. I was sitting, standing here, but I could see myself walking with them. And the one guy had his arm around me. He's like talking. He was older than me. And he, I looked up to him and he's talking and kind of like explaining everything. And so as we were walking, he said, okay, I'm going to answer your question. Why me? Why am I special? What about me? I'm not even that good of a musician. I don't you know, Nobody thinks I'm any good at anything. Why would you guys single me out out of all the people in the world or whatever? And he says, I'm going to answer that. For, there's two reasons. Number one, he said, you believe in us. He says, most people wouldn't even believe in us. And as soon as he said that, I thought, well, that makes sense. That's true. Because whatever they are, I don't doubt that they exist. I don't doubt that there's such a thing as this, as people being, you know, communicating with these guys and saying, hey, I could make you a star. I could do this for you. I could set you up. I could make this happen. And since, yeah, I, as soon as he said it, I, I didn't have to be convinced. I already knew he was right. I, I do believe this. You know, but I didn't even know I believed it. I just already did. So I didn't have to argue. He didn't have to argue with me and say, by the way, we're real. I just knew it. So he said, that's the first thing. The fact that you already believe in us, that's a good thing. In, from their point of view. That's, that's one reason why we're here. Another reason, he said, you're not like your classmates. And at, as soon as he said that, he, he gestures to the guy, the people that are playing volleyball. Right now, we're literally standing in my mind next to a volleyball game. Many of my classmates were outside playing a heated game of volleyball, and they're just, you know, it's just like I was out there with them. It's going on. And he just gestures to that, and he says, you're not like these guys. 
you, you know, he said, most of these, your classmates, all they want to do in life is graduate from high school, get some stupid job, maybe go to college, you know, get a good job, get married, settle down, have a bunch of kids, Ugh! and he goes like that. He puts his finger like he's gag gagging himself. He goes, Ugh! what a wasted life. He acts like that'd be the most boring, stupid life, you know, and he goes, you're not like that. We know that that would just, that's never going to be what you want to do with your life. And I had never said this, but that was true. I always saw myself, from a very early age, I always saw myself as somebody who wants to be, you know, in music, hopefully famous, hopefully, you know, successful. But I hadn't told a lot of people that, and I hadn't made that, it wasn't, nobody who looked at me would know that. And I thought, well, he's right, that's true. I never realized. That's true, I don't want to just graduate high school, go to college, get a job, get married, settle down, have kids. Blah, he, he described me perfectly. I wanted to have an exciting life of rock and roll, stardom, or whatever. So he said, that's the other reason why, why me. And he said, that's your dream, we can make it happen. 